Hi everyone, it's Craig Taylor, the Implementation Manager at Smith Cooper System Partners. Today's video is going to show how we can view and amend previous bank reconciliations in Sage 200. So let's get Sage 200 on display. We can view a summary of previous reconciliations via the Cashbook Account Inquiry screen. We can access this via the main menu from the Cashbook. Cashbook Inquiries, Bank Account Inquiry. We can also go via the Bank Account List and the Inquiries icons. So if we open the Bank Account Inquiry, select our Bank Account, select the Statement Balances tab, and this displays any previous statement balances or reconciled statement balances. It's displayed via uh, reconcile date and it also displays page numbers. If you wish to unreconcile transactions that have previously been reconciled in error, you can use the unreconcile transaction screen. So this is accessed via the cash book, period end routines, bank reconciliation, unreconciled bank transactions. Select the bank account. If required, you can change the page number to represent the page that you're correcting. We can enter here a date range, so we only display the reconciled transactions within that, that date range that we specify. So if we enter a date from date to click display. Now, the transactions are displayed based on their transaction date and not the date of which they were reconciled. The statement date and page number columns indicate which bank reconciliation a transaction was included in. So we can use this screen to see previous reconciliation details. We can sort by these columns, which may make that easier. And if you were only interested in viewing the transactions, I'd recommend you right click, select export to export to Excel. To unreconcile, within the screen, select the transactions to unreconcile from the top list, and they will then be moved down to the bottom list. So like when we are actually performing a reconciliation in the bank reconciliation screen, you can select individual transactions or you can select multiple transactions by clicking the checkboxes or we can use the shift and click or control and click functionality. You can see a running total of selected transactions on the right hand side here as well. Select the transactions you wish to unreconcile, click match checked items, this moves into the bottom section and once you're happy that you've got the transactions required you can then choose unreconcile. And those two transactions have now been unreconciled. Okay, that completes this video on viewing and amending bank reconciliations. Hope you found this useful and please watch our other videos. Make sure you subscribe to our channel so you receive updates. Thanks for watching.